you guys and girls. So what is going on today? Uh, feels like a little bit of deja vu. Uh, it was just over two years ago, I brought you my first official YouTube video, as poorly recorded as it was, about uh, changing spark plugs. So here we are again, and uh, we're changing spark plugs. So we're we're about 70,000 kilometers um, since our last change. And just reading the forums, a lot of guys are liking to do it at uh, uh, less than that. For the price of spark plugs, it's not too bad, although um, these spark plugs are fairly costly. They're the, um, they're the SP580s. Now, with that being said, the last time that we did the change on here, uh, they gave us the SP411s, which are the platinum plugs, and they had to be gapped, and... Um, everything was uh, way out of whack and I almost think that they were uh, either for the base 3.5 engine, the non-turbo, or uh, perhaps Ford uh, has changed the spark plugs and they've gone to what the F-150 are using. Uh, from what I know, this is what the F-150 guys are running is the SP-580s. Um, so anyways, they're Iridium, they're like 17 bucks Canadian, which is fairly expensive, but nice thing is is that I've checked all the gaps on these and they're probably within uh, I don't even know how you'd measure it I guess it's a, a hundredth uh, so the gap that these ones were supposed to be set up from the factory was 0 0.030 the uh, stock on the uh, EcoBoost Flex starts at 0 0.033 um, so these ones were all zero point or point zero three zero within like I don't even know how much so it wasn't even worth trying to gap them it was that close um, so good on Ford they have this protector on there so that things don't get as banged up in uh, transport so trying to change plugs on an EcoBoost Flex uh, I know I didn't get too much into it last time so we'll get into it this time um, you can pop this cover off you have to take the uh, oil filler cap off first and then it'll literally pop up. There's these three uh, connectors, sorry, right here uh, that allow you to pop it off and while you're at it why don't you give it a good cleaning and a coat of um, either Armor All or um, in this case it was just some light tire shine just to get some shine back onto it. So the engine's off, the engine cover's off I've already done the rear spark plugs. Sorry for the noise. This road is getting ridiculous. Uh, so I've done these three back plugs already because they're the worst. You can see you can kind of push the hoses out of the way. You can unclip wiring. Um, what I did is I unhooked this and unhooked. Look at that, that grease there or that um, engine oil. Um, that's going to be the next phase. We're going to be putting a catch can right in that corner. But as you can see, these EcoBoosts, and it really throws that uh, throws that waste around in there. But anyways, um, so we took the knot off of here, loosened up this pipe so that it was easier to get down to that one there. So now we're on to the front. These are the easier ones, quote unquote. Um, so what you're going to do, there's a little red tab right here. You just pull that tab down push on this little white tab that's here that'll slide off we're gonna just put this back on the mount again sorry for the noise you can use a drill with an eight millimeter socket to get these off just be very gentle and I say to use these because the bolts themselves are about I'd say at least three times longer than they need to be um, but anyways, I'm not an engineer. I'm not going to comment on that. I just have my own thoughts. Um, so once that's off, all you're going to do is just twist and they'll pop right out. You hear that nice little pop. So what you're going to want to do is take a look at this end boot here. See if there's any scoring, any cracking, any uh, carbon trailing, which would basically be look like almost like a lightning bolt. Um, that would have carbon buildup or a dark scar on there. So everything looks pretty good on that. 
um, while we have it out we will just get the dust seal that dust that's on that boot we'll just get that dust off dust off this is synthetic dielectric grease you can also use this for brakes uh, I haven't used anything better than this yet just take a nice little squirt that just ensures a good contact between the spark plug and the actual uh, boot so now that we've got that out take your spark plug uh, socket put on one of these flex adapters because if you don't get down there straight and you start trying to reef on it, it's especially worse going in. If you're trying to put that in on an angle, you're going to thread that out. This kind of prevents that from happening, or at least helps. Work it slowly. Again, sorry for all the noise here. And you'll actually feel it get loose. For some reason, it popped out. It's not, it must not have had it. Sometimes you gotta just do it by hand. So that's the original spark plug. We're gonna check for any cracks in the porcelain here. Looks like there's a little bit of heat that's coming down onto the uh, the plug there but everything else looks pretty good we can check the gaps after but the gap doesn't look terrible um, it probably has come out a bit worn down so then we're just gonna take our new plug we're gonna throw it into the socket you're just going to take some anti seize this comes in different uh, compounds one with uh, copper etc um, you get whatever one you like this is just the basic anti seize do not miss this step if you want a seized plug into that aluminum block you go for it I don't care what anybody else tells you. You could have a Ford mechanic that tells you not to put it in there for all I care. And I don't mean to be so crass, but... So now we've got our anti-seize on there. You're going to hand thread this back in. And again, that's where having that, um, that flex adapter in there helps because it'll ensure that everything seats in there. If you're getting any kind of resistance, do not turn it. You're going to basically thread this all the way down by hand until it bottoms out with hand pressure. You're going to take your socket, put it back on, and just until it's snug. That's it. Do not go any further than that. So we've got our coil, the boot on there, feed it straight down as straight as you can. It'll kind of seat itself. Sometimes it'll give you a little bit of resistance um, just because of that uh, grease that's in there. Very carefully, slowly, a couple of ugga duggas on there, and that's it. You are done. So you can repeat that for the rest of them, and uh, off you go. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me down, or sorry, to subscribe down there. Questions in the comments. Uh, constructive criticism. Till the next video. Take it easy, guys.